Okay, in this video, we're going to be talking about solving a um, an equation of the form log base B with argument A equal to C. Now, remember that we can apply the definition of a log. So if you have an equation that's in this form, it can be converted into its exponential form. You just have to keep the base of the log as the base of the exponential. And then these two guys have like swap sides of the equal sign. So instead of the B being on the same side as the A, now the B has an exponent of C. And instead of it equaling C in this form, it now equals A in the other form, okay? So basically the base stays the base and the other two numbers swap sides. So if I have a problem like this um, and it's asking me to solve for X, I have log base 10 of X equal to negative two, the base is 10, the exponent will now be negative two, and it will now be equal to that argument a x. And then this can be typed in your calculator and it's just one over 100. Similarly, we can do the same thing for this type of problem. So again, our base here is x, so we have the base x, and then the exponent will become negative four and it will be equal to the argument one over 81. Now this negative exponent can be written as one over x to the positive four exponent. And then I can cross multiply or multiply both sides by the common denominator. And the resulting equation is 81 equal to x to the fourth power. Now, in order for me to solve for x, I do need to take the fourth root of both sides of this equation. So that does allow me to get x by itself, but because I'm taking an even root, like a square root, a fourth root, a sixth root, even any even index here, you do get plus or minus. And the fourth root of 81 is three. So keep in mind that when you're talking about the x value, its location here is in the base. And the base cannot be negative, therefore x cannot equal that negative 3. So the only solution that we have here is just x equal to the positive 3. Similarly, if x is in your argument, the argument has to be positive, so you end up with a negative answer. That negative answer is not your solution. The arguments and the bases must be positive. Now, finally, for the last example, again, if we turn it over into its exponential form, the x is the base, the 3 is the exponent, and it's now equal to that argument 1,000. Then what we do to solve for x is we take the cube root of both sides of the equation that gives us x. This is an odd root this time, so we don't need the plus or minus. And the cube root of 1,000 is 10. Since this is positive and our base is x, then this is okay, and this is a proper solution here. So our answer there is x equals 